Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with Kelsey. Hey guys. And we're here doing our part two of our buying guide for the holidays, our perfume, blind buy safe worthy perfumes with the asterisk, just like in the first video. Technically there's no such thing in the world as a 100% foolproof blind buy because fragrance is one of the most subjective things in the entire planet. I would say probably <laughs> the most compared to like visual tastings like that. Definitely. Fragrance is, is so subjective from person to person and their chemistry. But we have put together a list, a couple different categories of fragrances for men that we think are blind by safe that a man would appreciate. Like insanely mass appealing fragrances that are very good and perfect for a gift for the holidays. First category that we're gonna be talking about is cheapies. So fragrances that are, what, like, what would you say, $50 and under? Yeah, yeah, anybody could afford this, you know, like if you need a couple of gifts or just one, this is very affordable. Okay, well, let's start with yours because they're kind of similar. Our chibi picks are kind of similar. <laughs> yeah, they're both blue, of course. Yes. They're like aquatic. Yes. So this is Versace Fresh. It is a very fresh fragrance, just like the name. It's a little bit aquatic, a little bit sweet. It's like your fresh out of the shower fragrance. It's so like, it is really refreshing. It's like a drink of water. Most people would like this. It's very likable. It's easy to wear. It's good for any occasions. And I think you could get this for like $20. It's really affordable. Mm -hmm. And they do sell this at Ulta, but I don't recommend paying the full price there. Just yeah. go to TJ Maxx, Marshalls, online. You could find this anywhere. It's it's really easy to find. And I actually just smelled it for the first time. And I thought, oh, it smells kind of like Nautica Voyage, which is also another great cheapie. I think I got this for 20 bucks, like Kelsey said, at Marshalls or TJ Maxx. It's the same kind of vibe, it's green. I think there's a little bit of apple in this, very mm -hmm. fresh. Like she said, out of the shower, perfect. This one might be a little sweeter, honestly. Yeah, it's a little bit It's a sweeter. little less, yeah, it's sweeter. A little stronger too, I think. Mm -hmm. Just a touch. Nautica Voyage might be a little bit sweeter and they're just perfect for like you're just out of the shower, you're walking out the door, you need a fragrance that works in any situation. Easy, dumb grab, Nautica Voyage or Versace Fresh. Our next little segment, <laughs> we have some designer picks. So the price tag on these are a little bit higher. Well, more than a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Quite anywhere from like the, what, like 80 to $120 range. So a, a good substantial gift. And we have the best designer picks here. So we'll start with Blue de Chanel because this is one of the most popular fragrances in the world for men. Yeah, I feel like everybody knows this fragrance yes. by now. It's like super hyped. Um, it's kind of like your Dior Sauvage. A lot of men wear this nowadays. But it smells great for a good reason that it's hyped. Yes, it's, um, it's popular for a reason. Yeah, exactly. It's very fresh. It's a little bit aquatic. It's a little bit like spicy almost. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a bit of a spice to it. This is actually the Parfum version, which is a little bit pricier. Honestly, you don't need this version. The Toilette or the uh, Eau de Parfum is totally fine. They all smell very similar. It's just like the concentration of the oil. They don't change the notes. But this is very accessible too. You can find it at most stores, probably like Ulta, Sephora. Mm -hmm. You could also buy it online, like FragranceNet, things like that. The next one on the list that I have for the designers is probably my favorite designer men's fragrance ever. This is by Victor and Wolf, Spice Bomb Extreme. This is another cult classic, just like Bouche Chanel, um, but so, so popular. And this one is more suited towards the fall and winter months, so that's why I wanted to include it. If you live somewhere where it's very cold, this works magically. It has like clove, it's, it kind of smells like Christmas almost. It's yeah, sweet it's as so well, festive. it has vanilla, and it's just, it's amazing. I think it's like a touch of kind of like this leathery tobacco scent, but the, it, it doesn't, that's not the star of the show at all. It's just the spice, the pepper and the vanilla. And it's just a really, really great special fragrance for the holidays. It's delicious. I feel like any girl would love to smell that on their man. It's like, oh, it's just a Dixie. It is. It's so nice. Like you want to lean in closer, mm -hmm. you know? It's, it's so very romantic. strong too. It lasts forever yes. when my boyfriend wears this. It's on his clothes for like two or three days. <laughs> like... So sexy. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want something a little bit lighter, they do have just Spice Bomb, not the extreme version. So you could try that one as well. So the last one for the designer list we have. We've got Tom Ford Ombre Leather. 
Now, this is a very particular scent. It's very heavy on the leather, so you yes. have to like leather. It's very masculine. This is more of like your cold weather, like nighttime fragrance, mm -hmm. date night, where you want you know your significant other to be able to smell you from across the table. This is a great one. It's very strong, on especially on the leather. Hot Fitting. bad boy in yes. a leather jacket, that kind of yes. vibe. Oh kind God. of dark and mysterious. And they also just released a parfum version that I hear a lot of very good things about yeah, as well. Yeah, I have yet to try that one. Okay, so that's all the designer fragrances that we have. So now we're going to be going into our niche category and this is where the prices get a little bit higher. So this is, you know, if you have a larger budget to spend and you want something a little more special because you know, designer fragrances are so accessible to everyone and the DNAs are you know, pretty similar um, yeah. because they have to be mass appealing. So the niche ones kind of push the limits a little bit, but don't let that scare you away. We picked ones that are very, very likable. So the first one that I have here is kind of similar to Ombre Leather. It kind of leans in the same direction. This one is heavier on the tobacco. Now Zaharoff is a very, very well-known niche brand in the YouTube world and he creates amazing products. So this one is tobacco. It's Probably one of the most unique tobacco oh, fragrances gee. that I've ever smelled. Oh, yeah. In the best way. There is almost like a sweetness yes, to it. But it's a hard to describe sweetness. It's not like a yeah. fruity or like a strong vanilla or anything like that. It's a very, very light tobacco scent. It is unis like I think it could be unisex either way. Yeah, if you like tobacco fragrances, I could see a woman wearing this too, definitely. I love it. Mm -hmm. And get a cool bottle, cool brand. I think what it is, is that I think it's like a more elegant tobacco scent. Mm. It's like a event worthy scent. So I like that concept. They took the idea of like a leathery bad boy yeah. tobacco scent and they made it kind of classy. So the next one that I have is from actually a smaller indie niche brand called Mossy, which is a small business located out of New York City. This is called Into Me For Him and this is a very mass appealing scent and it's not that pricey either. I believe this bottle goes for like $150. Oh, okay. That's and you get a big funny. bottle. This is 100 ml, so a ton of product. I like this one because it's mass appealing, but it's also kind of unique. It has these unique notes that you don't really see in a lot of other you know, designer or niche fragrances. This has a watermelon note. It's, this one's definitely for like the summer, springtime. Mm -hmm. Had some watermelon, like cantaloupe vibes. Really? Cantaloupe? Ooh. Here, take a smell. Oh, I should have brought, oh, I did. Ooh, yeah. I did, I did like bring things. Refreshing, <laughs> let's try it. <laughs> wait, I should have brought test strips. Oh wait, I had I them the whole time. The <laughs> <laughs> mm, yeah, that's really like zesty yes. and refreshing. This is great for summer or like for people that live in Florida or like warmer climates. Mm -hmm. All right, so we have one more, probably the priciest one on this list. Yes, we got Zerjaf Ascento or Acento. This is one of my favorites for men. So it's almost like a niche version of like Bleu de Chanel. If you like those kind of fragrances, you're gonna yes. love this. It's like, a, it's like just smelling it right here. This one's kind of like licorice right off the top. Really? Okay. Yeah, okay. I know there's like pineapple in there. There's yeah, a little that's bit of what leather. It is. But oh my gosh, it's beautiful. This, but this is very strong. Mm -hmm. Even though it's kind of fresh, you do have like a little bit of leather in there. So it balances it out, makes it very complex. It's a little bit sweet too, um, but the projection and the performance is amazing. Everybody's going to smell you. Yeah, I love the pineapple in it. Oh, yeah, it's delicious. And it's a gorgeous bottle. Like, if you want to give a great present, like, to your significant other, he would love to have this. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. It's a great... And you could wear it as well. Oh, yeah, for sure. A woman could wear this, too. It's great for every day, during the day, or at night, for a date night, because it's going to last all day long. Like, this will transcend throughout the day. Zerjoff is an amazing, amazing Italian house. Yes. I have some fragrances by them. I love them. Honestly, <laughs> yeah. It's like my favorite brand, I think, yeah, out of like yeah. everything. Everything Always. is amazing. Fantastic. Every fragrance that they put out is a 10 out of 10 in every yes. way. Always coming back to Serge Joff, yes. no matter what. <laughs> I think the price point for this is maybe like 180. Mm -hmm. So it is a little bit bottle. higher. Yes. It's yeah, a little it's bit actually higher, great deal. but yeah, not so you don't bad. need You don't always need to go buy the biggest bottle, you exactly. know? Especially if you like to wear different fragrances. like. 
you know, you get the smaller size of everything, it'll still take you like 30 years to go through a whole bottle <laughs> your whole if you're life. rotating your fragrances, you know what I mean? All right, so which ones would we recommend 100%? I, th I think these two. I think the Zerja, right? Yeah. Yes, yeah, these so are the likeable. best. These are our favorites. Into Me by Masi and Accento by Sergeov. I hope this helped a little bit. I know that the world of fragrances can be a little daunting and finding you know, Christmas gifts or holiday gifts for people in your lives. It's like, well, what would they like? Well, hopefully we answered um, some questions that you might have and shown you some options that you can try and are mass appealing and they will love it. So thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.